Salty Soaps. This is a very, very late review for what was supposed to be May, but if you remember I had another person kind of bail on me a little bit, and so all of my reviews are going to be kind of condensed these next two months. So this review and the June review are going to be within about a week of each other. I apologize for that, but I got to try to catch up. The soap company in review today is Vibrant Soap, and it is owned by Mr. Clyde Yoshida, who is also an artist and has been for a very, very, very long time. Well, not very, very, very long, but you know what I mean. He's been doing artwork ever since he can remember. Went to school and his professors told him that he is a natural colorist, meaning he doesn't like to muddy the colors together and mix them up. He likes them to stay pretty bold and vivid, which is very, very obvious in his soap making. So he told me that there was a time a while ago where he was kind of depressed and not getting a lot of inspiration. And you know how it goes when you're an artist or enjoy any sort of craft, really. You just go through a phase where you're just, oh. He had a friend leave him some soap as a gift and it kind of piqued his interest and started soap making a little bit and, you know, seeing what he liked to do and everything. And here we are now and he is making these creations that are absolutely gorgeous. Now I found him in the Soaping 101 study hall. I was just cruising through my feed one day as I often do and saw a drop swirl that was so detailed where the lines continued to stay very very obvious so the colors hadn't been mixed but they were so thin I just couldn't believe I had never seen anything like that before so I looked up his soap I went to the vibrant soap website and was absolutely blown away and knew I have got to review these if not for anything else besides the artistic aspect so here is what I got in the box I received Lemon Lime Sublime, Shower Scene, Cranberry Fig, Lavender Gems, and Syrica. None of these have been tested on animals. So let's talk about appearance first. I'm going to pull up Lemon Lime. It has beautiful shades of purple. There's some green in there, some lime green. Looks like a little bit of orange and yellow. Absolutely beautiful. As you can see, I've used this before already. Next is the Lavender Gems. You can see that there is a gorgeous, gorgeous purple swirl. Looks like there has been a little bit of color bleeding, which puts a really pretty pink on the outside of the purple. Then we have Cerico, which is red and white. Um, the red is sort of a, you know, brick red, not really a true red. And then some black swirls. That's also been drop swirled. Isn't that amazing? Gosh, it's so detailed. And then we have Shower Scene, which is kind of a water, cool ocean blue with some green. It looks like a little bit of cream in there. Another drop swirl. Absolutely gorgeous. And then there's Cranberry Fig, which look at this. It looks like a pear. He has made a glycerin soap pear. I have no idea how he did that with all of the different layers and the the little uh, vine that's coming out of there, I, I, that's crazy. And then it's sitting on top of green and pink in a cold process bar. So that's just so, so unique and beautiful. Packaging. As you can see from the pictures, everything was individually wrapped. They all had their own label. They all had um, a little sticker that told you the ingredients. And they were all packaged in tissue paper. The only thing to note is that some of the glycerin soap was starting to bleed a little bit through the tissue paper. Um, glycerin soap sweats sometimes, so it, it kind of poked through, it made the lavender gems kind of poke through, but absolutely nothing was damaged in the box, so that didn't harm the product at all. Let's talk about fragrance. Shower scene. Now, I don't actually have shower scene with me. <laughs> it's in the shower. <laughs> but here's what it smells like. It's very, very clean sort of a floral and maybe a little bit of ozone. It's very, very watery, sort of rainforest. Great scent. My second favorite. Next is Lemon Lime Sublime, which honestly is, is this one's my favorite. And I think it smells like Mountain Dew, maybe, or 7-Up, some sort of a lemon lime soda. And it almost has a little bit of fizzy to it. I don't know if that's exactly what anyone else would think, but it smells, yeah, kind of fizzy, almost like a Sprite or something like that. This is my favorite. This is my favorite fragrance. 
Then there's Sirico, which smells like a cologne to me, but it also smells very unisex and very versatile. So this is definitely an adult fragrance, if you will. You're not going to hand this to your kid and go, here, you know, here's a yum yum fragrance. No, no, this is a very classy, refined cologne smell. Very, very alluring. I really, really like this scent. Then there's Lavender Gems, which, you know, I don't like lavender. I don't really like that fragrance at all, but this is a light, light lavender and almost smells a little bit more floral to me than it does that, you know, potent lavender smell. It's just, it's soft, it's subtle, it's calming. It's really, really nice. This is definitely one of my favorite lavenders, and I wouldn't even call it a lavender because it just doesn't even smell like that to me. It just sort of smells floral and pretty. And then there's cranberry fig, which didn't smell like cranberries or figs to me. <laughs> I'm really having a hard time. Normally I can pinpoint exactly what something smells like pretty much, or at least get a good general idea, but I'm really having a hard time with this one. After I'm thinking about it, I can see why someone might say cranberry, but definitely not the fig part. It honestly smells a little bit like, uh, like a bamboo, almost. You know, if you've ever smelled a fresh bamboo type fragrance, that's kind of what it smells like to me. Uh, I, I really like it. It's a great smell. I just don't know what it smells like. <laughs> so all of the soaps, as far as fragrance are concerned, are very, very potent. These are very smelly soaps. If you like a good, strong scent that might even kind of stay on your skin after being in the shower, these soaps would be great for you because they are strong. How do they perform in the shower? Well, I do believe that all of these soaps have the same ingredients in them. After checking the ingredients, they all look to be about the same. I noticed that there's Tessa Silk in there, and let me tell you, my final conclusion for all of the bars is that they are a silky lather. It's like a soft lather. Now, it'll leave you feeling clean, don't get me wrong, but when you put that on, it's it just feels smooth. It just feels really, really, not creamy necessarily, but soft. I'm going to continue to say soft and silky, and I had the queen use it, and she said, that she kind of thought the same thing. She said, when I got out of the bath, it just felt really, really silky. And I was like, yeah, that's what I thought. So as far as performance goes, they're very, very hard bars. They've clearly been left to cure for the proper amount of time. Um, very, very soft on the skin, not irritating at all. Very, very, very silky. Um, there's a good stable lather. Um, as far as soap goes, the, the properties of these bars are fantastic, and I'm sure it's because he has used so many good ingredients. Now, as far as social media and website goes, he has a Facebook, and Vibrant Soap also has a website, and that is where you can purchase the products that I reviewed today. I don't know if all of them are still available, but I know at least that Sirico is, and I believe Lavender Gems is as well. Final thoughts and conclusion. It was a blessing and an honor to use your soaps, Mr. Yoshida. I, again, have yet to find something that I feel is so artistic and so appealing to my eyes, personally. Lots of vivid color. I, myself, really, really like the color in a soap, so it was beautiful to see that. These are works of art. When you are purchasing from Vibrant Soap, you are purchasing artwork. I hope you guys all enjoyed the May review and found it informative and helpful. Please check out Vibrant Soap at the links listed below. Tell Mr. Yoshida that I said hi, and I hope I will see you all soon. So until then, bye for now.